Good day, ladies and gents. My name is Helzo, and I'm discussing. And the Mr. Beast situation just got a lot more complicated. It's a literal whirlwind of strange things that are happening, strange posts, new allegations, new evidence. And I'm just gonna start here with Mr. Beast actually responding officially to everything that has been happening. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava, which is Chris Tyson's current name, apparently, behavior online, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable facts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've been enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and my associations with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Now this is an official response and this is his official stance claiming that he didn't know that those things were happening. However, there are several replies here from the quartering that there have been several young men under the NQ16 that have come forward and that Chris was predatory on the viewers and that this statement is basically pathetic. You have from the thing before you sleep, was there a reason that he didn't respond to all of this last year when it was initially exposed? Yes, they were uh, exposed material previous year, although without such evidence as now and most of it was like uh, statements and then we have this clip from Nathan W who tells this and we're gonna watch it now because this is pretty interesting. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last yeah. few days who claims this he isn't is... a victim but we all know he is and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's Probably. also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship. Right. Okay. I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. <laughs> as well as other technical back-end things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway, and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not right. only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners. And he would use this NSFW bot to spam different Damn. corn images. Corn images. Um, alongside all these 15-year-olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called... Okay, there's a part two. So far it looks all awful. Like, it's uh, very condemning. I was definitely uncomfortable... Uh, at being called daddy by a 20 year old. Um, oh, you just think about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the NSFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to yeah. miners. This story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize. So if you want to hear more and you want a part two, let me know. 
I was definitely uncomfortable. So he's probably going to give an interview over on one of the channels, either Geeks and Gamers or any some some other channels. And speaking of Geeks and Gamers, um, Jake the Viking, uh, if you remember, he wrote this, Jimmy knew, and he has apparently an interview on Geeks and Gamers talking in depth on what apparently has happened and what was his opinion. I haven't watched it, but I will. However, even without this, it seems very, very weird that Jimmy from Mr. Beast didn't know. And what I mean about that is that he probably knew that some interaction has happened. However, I am inclined to give him a bit of a benefit of a doubt because from all I know of Jimmy, he's overly focused on doing the things on his channel. So he, if, if you watch him on some interviews and so he's a bit out of it, he's not the, the most, how should I put it, right here person because he only just his mind works like that this is not me defending him but i am willing to give a bit of a benefit of a doubt before everything that there is to come out comes out especially i'll be very interested to see what the private investigator releases after the investigation i hope we get it but we have one more thing like from chris tyson Ava, who wrote on July 23rd, who basically said that they're stepping down from Mr. Beast. And now Mr. Beast saying that he removed Chris. And I don't know which is the, the correct thing that has happened. I am inclined to believe that Mr. Beast just removed them and Chris Tyson is trying to save some face or anything. But they posted a update from yesterday. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was but I can continue to work on myself. And another note, I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Now, if we look this as independently like as neutrally as possible it is possible and i'm i i want to impact on the possible that those are just edgy jokes and it was stupid decisions at the time without any additional intent and just someone who is being really stupid about what they're saying to people who are very young at the time however the, it's not that plausible the, the more plausible is this is someone who has done things intentionally with the full intent i don't want to uh, like hardly accuse anyone without all the information however this is what the facts lead me to in my previous video i said that i run by the facts i don't take emotional sides and i know how easy it is for people to take emotional sides on both on both sides like to defend even defending chris tyson and defending everything that they've done but i'm not defending or hardly accusing i'm just running by the evidence and the evidence currently speak that this is beyond edge jokes this is inappropriate behavior that has gone beyond just joking about it with people who are much younger and even though again it is possible that he didn't think about it at the time and even though being 20 and thinking that this is a uh, edgy jokes to you you should know better that this can be misinterpreted if it was just edgy jokes there are also a lot of other things that are constantly coming up i'm not going to go through everything there are old videos of mr beast resurfacing where he allegedly also makes such comments however let's just keep it a little bit straight here like you can make an edgy comment and people can run you over for it however an edgy comment can be an edgy comment and that's it it doesn't necessarily mean something more a lot of youtubers a lot of influencers have made edgy comments and have made derogatory comments even on live stream and they have been run over the bus and they have apologized and explained that it was just in the heat of the moment so we have to separate what an actual edgy comment or just a bad take on something was at the time especially when someone was younger and what a consistent behavior like the one that is currently presented by chris tyson from his past is because chris tyson has consistently throughout years have has done this 
And the evidence just leads to being it more plausible for every allegation to be true, while other things are not so clear. And we should wait to see every bit of evidence to see what's happening. Now, I'm actually going to say something that might some people might get offended by, but I think that Mr. Beast truly didn't know or realize that things were that serious. And his comment from last year where Sonny V2, the YouTuber, made a video that is basically telling that Chris Tyson is going to become a nightmare to Jimmy and he was defending Chris Tyson. I think that at this point in time when Jimmy was writing this, he was still in the dark of the seriousness and how, just how many instances of that have been there and he's probably been talking at that time with Chris Tyson that it were, and being explained that those were just edgy jokes and nothing more serious and because they're friends from childhood he was inclined to believe and I'll condone this like I don't say I'm not saying that he was right to do so but with information that he probably had at the time he just didn't want to lose his friend and wanted to stand by his friend during his uh, transition time and all stuff which in itself yeah while it's a bad take it's not really malicious if you think about it and I'm fairly certain that Mr. Beast just now realizes the severity of the situation. That's why he has hired a private investigator. Uh, a lot of people are saying, why did you wait so long to respond? Well, he waited so long to respond because, first of all, he's a public person and a huge YouTuber. And he wanted to present the things that have already happened and present it in the best way. Now, is waiting a good thing? In this case, no. They wanted the response quickly and now they're turning on Mr. Beast as well i'm willing to wait for everything and i'm not just going to lynch mr beast as well for not knowing because i like from what i've seen i've just seen a person who is overly focused on just what he does and things fly over his head again i'm not defending him but because if if it turns out that he knew of the severity of situ the situation all this time then by all means, this is very serious behavior that is very bad. However, I am willing to look at this from an outsider's perspective and just give him the benefit of the doubt. And we wait for all the evidence, for the future evidence, for the future interviews. And hopefully we'll wait for this private investigator's findings. And I'm sure, I'm I'm almost positive that Mr. Beast will be fully transparent on these findings in order to simply appease the people and give them the information that they want. He, he'll make a public appearance and I'm sure that he'll probably make a video either on one of his channels or just on Twitter. But anyways, tell me what you think about the situation. It's crazy. It's going down so quickly that <laughs> I can't keep up. I just woke up and I saw the Mr. Beast response and I just had to sit down and make this video. Tell me in the comments what you think below. Do you condemn both Chris and Mr. Beast or do you want to separate yourself? What do you think of the entire situation so far as a whole? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and follow me on my socials and my Patreon where I am basically raising money for homeless animals. Thank you. Cheers and stay fresh.